like a measure the width, mark the five line. But if they are what they are, yeah. we can't hide that. Four I lines. tried, but you can't have sat so big that structure. Yeah, oh, but how are, gonna, how, how are we going to hide the tension? Is you just going to leave them exposed? We're going to have to leave them yeah, exposed. Right. Just spray and block or something. Yeah. No, we can't, we can't kid people. You can't Listen, hide that, that hole. That's if that's going straight onto the fiddle yard, I will have to just make a wider U channel. Yeah. To cover Listen, the distance. They've got, they've got 40, what, another 40 foot of scenery they didn't have I before. I, I can they're make all, them tomorrow. Can't they? Yeah. They'll, they'll be done they'll tomorrow. Take that off, mate. Yeah. Take it off. Yeah. yeah. I'll have that done tomorrow. I'll give you a little I'll give you that. So Pete, we've uh, less than seven days to go. Knowing you as the master planner, Dave, I do. Dave, you, I love your seven days. We haven't got seven days. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Five days. Okay. So my question is: Is there anything left to do? No. Your question to me should be. <laughs> I was trying to keep a straight face when I was asking it. Okay, fine. Lift it up another inch and a half. Yeah, both ends. Yeah, perfect. Should I say this time next week we'll be unloading it? Welcome, welcome to the Morecambe and Wise show. No, the truth is, it's Thursday today. I'm out of action now for two days because I've had a serious virus, so I've got to go and see the doctor. Um, so. All the boards are still to be wired. There's still no signals. We are still putting in the last structures, which, as you can see when you walked in, are two massive, massive, massive mega structures, which we didn't realise how big they were right. till we fitted them. And, and um, so you can plan things, but the bridge at Carpenters Park, we had no idea was as big as it is. Right. So we can't kid the public that. You know, there's nothing behind it. I mean, you're going to see straight through it, right? Because it's a six, seventy foot bridge. Um, and to high Blissworth, we've also got to do the same. So Dave's coming today to work out how we we do certain things. It's going to be tight. And and more on the scenic side, you can see we've got all the houses still out. That will be done today. We've actually put bushy. Uh, Watford Tunnel and that's finished. Aaron is finishing the wiring off today. Phil's on the wiring. But it's like all these things, Dave, when you know you, you, you look at and you make a statement of, well, we'll just add another 50, 60, 70 foot of seen it because it's, it's dead bored. <laughs> you, you forget just how much rail that is, how much seat, it's the scenic side. Mm. You know, and then the mat, you know, we've had trouble with mice eating trees, so <laughs> we're trying to come up with a method that gets around the mouse problem. Uh, we've got mouse traps <laughs> everywhere. So, I mean, listen, at the end of the day... It's not just extending 50 odd feet. No. It's, it's, you're doing that with the extra seat. It's like 100 foot of scenery, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's... It, Another hundred feet of scenery. Well, it's, one, it's actually one and a half, like making tracks like twos yeah. or making yeah. tracks threes. Yeah, I've seen it. You know, for the frontage, isn't it? Right. I mean, it's it's easy when you sit down and say, well, it's just well, I need, I another, another three eight foot boards. You know, that's easy to say. It's suddenly when you've got to do three foot boards of grass, three foot boards of yeah. balance, three foot boards of fencing, three foot boards of gantries. We've done marvellous, I think, for what we've time. Yeah, I mean, I can see the difference just standing here on what it was last week. It looks a lot more complete than it did last week. Well, oh, yeah. and by today, by the end of the day... We've still got another five days. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's what you said. Yeah. Seven days, where, where, where are you going? Yeah. I mean... Yeah. When, when, the little details, like all the signs, some of it's going on now, the lamps have gone on yesterday and today, and the stations are going today and yesterday. That will make a massive difference. Right. Yeah. Makes a massive difference. This is, in fact, now, I mean, the, the, the real truth about this is, once you've done, Mil once we've done Milton Keynes, you've set yourself a task. You've set yourself 
a goal. Right. The detail you put in has to be, you know, again, duplicated. Mm. So you then add 36 feet mm. to what you've already got to do, which yeah. is 64 feet, and you suddenly go, ah, ah. Yeah. So what we did, in hindsight, you should never do. Right. But we, you, time... Time for us is always a problem, right? Because we've only ever got from the minute we announce it till the date of this venue. Yeah. Okay. So, if this would have been for the cathedral only, yes, we'd have still have had another two months. Yeah. We've lost eight weeks. So, you know, you don't. Do, you're lucky. You think it's not going to be a problem, but it is a problem because it's eight weeks. Right. Um, so what I did, when Dave was, because Dave made 15 new boards. I mean, this is, yeah. you know, it's 15 eight foot boards new on this. Mm. I pinched three of making tracks too. Right. Because we, we, we got so much fiddly yard now, we didn't, we didn't want to use all of 208 right. fiddly yard fiddler. So I pinched three of the boards, took the track off, and that is Watford. Okay. But then of course, Watford that gets, that gets me started. I'm yes. off. I'm, I'm running. Right. It just gets me probably three weeks work. Mm. I'm probably three weeks in front. Right. But then you're trying to work out where you pinch those three boards from. Dave's in it, it, so it it's your last couple of weeks where it, it's all worked out. I think we've actually got one board too many, but um, we'll sort that out. So let me get this right. You can come to the NEC and you can see the world record attempt and see what it's all about in these over 200 feet of glory. And you still have a reason to visit us at Chester because you'll be seeing even more detail on the layout oh, as it matures. Ch Chester, the, the Watford will be different for Chester. Right. We're deliberately making the, the Chester layout will be different again. Right. So, um, that, I mean, that, that, that's our, you know, that's our baby. Mm. So Chester will be, there'll be more detail, uh, right. be different at Chester than okay. it was um, at Gets. Uh, and again, we're doing gets as well this year. Which, right. Again, that will be different again. Yeah. Waiting for a lift. Do you want a hand? John! Come on, John. Come on, go. John. Robbie's not here today, so you're not done, buddy. <laughs> Pete, yeah, say man. it with flowers. Where's he gone? Spent an hour making that. Job. Can't use it. Today, John. This time this week. <laughs> Well, what, listen, what she's coming down to. It's your side, Dave. Watch me with that on, on the end of that cross. Watch you with it. Right? Yeah, I don't want to. Hang on. I don't want to break. You all right? Hold the room with it. Jobs are done. You all right with that? Yeah. Right. Actually, just lift the table, if you don't mind, that way. So I'm not in anybody's room. Table done. Yeah. That's me. Perfect. Thank you. Excellent.
John, I think while you did it. Start to widen out. Yes, they do. And I can't use them as the data to be the sides wider. No idea. Little three boards. How's John today? I'm all right, thanks, Dave. Yeah, I've done what last three days we've been here. Done quite a bit of the scenery. Oh, I can see. I can see your efforts. Yeah, uh, over there. It's the really coming together. To the bottom. There's another one sprayed up over there. Um, so some of those. Uh, snagging this Pete's got we started uh, just knocking some of those out um, small repairs from some, some of the other years <coughs> and then me and Dave now just going through the logistics really of how there's going to be a team of us that put it together um, so we all know what we're doing but at the same time it's a case of uh, doing it as quick as we can because obviously time's against us so yep. me and Dave at the moment Dave's got a, a basically a, a system where we're going to mark out the centre lines on the tables right so when we put them all up all the boards will instead of working each table to each board we'll actually work the boards to the centre lines of each table right so it allows us to no, get no. up a lot yeah. quicker yeah um so yeah dave's made a couple of staffs uh ready for us to do that brilliant so uh, yeah just sort of the smaller things now the sort of behind the scenes stuff that maybe people don't always appreciate but it's the stuff that counts Something that will allow us to put it all up in half an hour. Well, sure, it's just that, yeah. that we're <laughs> What's that, Dave? Oh, look, film this stuff. As you know, Dave, we've got we've got legs and beams from four layouts now. Okay. Now, when we first did the first layout, making tracks one and part two, the length of timber we could get made, made I could get four uh, two point. They were four point eight lengths. Okay. So I could make the beams two point four. Well, on the last making tracks three and four, I couldn't get 4.8 metre lengths, so I had to get 4.2s. Okay. So we only got two 2.1s out of the length, yeah? Right. Right, so that means when you come to set, set it up, because you've got eight foots and, well, I call them eight foots and seven foots, 2.4s and 2.1s, it don't really matter. Um, it meant you'd have to measure the distance between every table, every, I remember table. that. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, we'll eliminate that now. What I've done, I've made a staff, right? Two, it does two things, right? That finds the centre of the two point ones. Right. That side, it finds the centres of the bigger, the longer ones. Right. right. So all you do, put it on there, it hooks on. Yeah? Yep. That's the centre. You know it's the centre because it works from both ends, yeah? Right. Got it. So once we've got the centre of all the beans, which you're going to mark up now. Yeah. When we get there, the layout is 26 boards long, eight foot boards. Okay. But we've only got 18 tables. Right. Right. Ah, got, some of them straddle the tables, don't they? And we've got 19 boards on the front, uh, 19 right. tables on the front because of the angles. Right. Right. So what I've done now, make a big staff. Yeah. I worked it all out on AutoCAD. It's, um, the, the tables need to be, so it don't, it, regardless of what length of table you pick up, we now set it to that staff, centre to centre, right? Okay. So we're working with centres. So it doesn't matter what length of beam anybody picks up. If we work centre to centre, the next centre to the next table, is that the end of that, yeah? So we'll probably end up with either a three or four foot gap. It depends what we're, where we're at. Yeah? Okay. Got it. So that'll be screwed in there. That'll help. There. Things go up faster, won't it? Well, it'll save a lot. It'll save all of a lot of measuring. Yeah. And it means anybody can do it. Right. Oh, well, anybody that's got a drill. Because <laughs> you've only got two drills. Anyone that's got your drill. <laughs> anybody that's got my drill, yeah. And yeah. yours is always locked up, is that My right? drill is locked up, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Very good. 
So that's it. So that's that's makes the job easier. So we've got one another staff for the height of the tables. Now I know when we went to the Great Electric Train Show, I said that those the floor in there should be perfect. Well, we actually found out it wasn't. It had a, quite a dip in the middle of it. Have you found a perfect floor anywhere yet? Yeah, there's some there's some really good ones. It, right. Uh, well, you know, most shopping centres have perfect floors and stuff right. like that. But um, so hopefully the NEC should be better than the uh, the Great Electric Train Show. It won't. It had a dip in the middle of about half an inch. Oh, okay. So it meant then we had to start jacking the legs up when we got the boards on. Well, it gets pretty heavy when these boards are on top. So, so I'm eliminate. That. You're trying to eliminate things that can go wrong and sp keep the job going, flowing. Yes. Um, of course, we've got a lot of volunteers, so if you've got to start explaining stuff everything, every time you ought to do something, you might as well do the job yourself. Right. I mean, it's great having volunteers, they're great, but you need somebody that can pick the pick up quick what you're doing, mm. you know, and say, yeah, Just I can do that, in. leave it yeah. me now, you know, because we're, we're really going to be under pressure. I mean, it's... It's 400 and foot of layout to put up here. It's not just 208 foot. It's like 400 and, what is it, to, to 416 and... 450 About 420, something like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot. That's for the mice. Yeah. 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 So, let's get this down there to pick that. I've got the vaccine that was on here. Yeah. Is that much too long? Okay. So I've got to start. So are you altering the vaccine or the bridge? No, the bridge is it. I've okay. got to do. I've got a shot on the vaccine here that, right. that we've made. Um, well, that was hiding the two lines behind it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. It's going to look a bit stiff, really, because uh, this is open at the back. Right. Uh, <coughs> Until it's finished. Well, it's not. That's it. It's finished. That's is it. it. Yeah, I won't be getting anything else on it. Of course, I'm in your way, Aaron. Yeah. Won't be the first time. <laughs> Would be doing my job if I wasn't. <laughs> nice little buffer. <coughs> Everything's looking just a little bit more ready, isn't it? In terms yeah, of yeah, scenery. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be there. We'll be there. Yeah. I hope we are. And After then, all the effort we've put well, let's do the wiring. We've got five days left. How hard can it be? <laughs> we've got no signals yet, have we? Nope. Yeah, yeah. We've done our best. That's yep. all we can do, mate. Yep. We give it a go. Yeah, yeah. What I found, there wasn't that far. You could actually ride. Because we we've only got a, a small car now, I managed to get his bike in the back of it, but uh, I didn't take my bike, but she's still a bit tender after yeah. doing the signals. Brilliant, so you've got how many signals going into an Arduino? Uh, there can be up to 12, but I don't think we're going to be having that many because I, I think they're quite spaced out right so because you're only using the one signal wire for each signal right you can have up to 12 i think right do you want to hold the signal up let's have a look at it right. okay, focus they need setting up before you plug the arduino in so it's can you turn it around slowly So it's just 3D printed, yep. and then the RGB LEDs, right? So that they're, they're like daisy chains, so they talk to each other. Yeah. So one set of wires can drive any number of them. Yeah. So it's positive feed, negative feed, and then the signal wire. Signal uh, in, signal out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fantastic. So you'll have all those done today, will you? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Do you have the PCBs there? Can I see a PCB? Yeah. <clears throat> That's the PCB. So you've got the four pads. Let's have a thumb for comparison. Oh, great thumb, that. That's quite a big thumb. Yep. Yeah. 
makes it look smaller yeah so it's tiny fantastic and uh, for comparison I'll find one of the LEDs WS2812 I haven't got a clue what the code is but I don't know if you can just pick that out oh yeah hang on let me focus on that and there we go got it yep and that's yeah. about what what two millimeter across yeah looks it two mil across and yeah. four pads to try and solder on yep so it's uh interesting there was we? a plan for my machine to put them together the new machine but that turned out to be an unmitigated disaster so, so it's not been turned on since last year why did it not work it just didn't do what was claimed it's just not fit for purpose so we've got to revisit that yeah, so uh, for now uh, I've got the... We've it, got a human machine. Yeah. But it's been busy in work, so I didn't get as many done in work as I was hoping. Chris, you look like you're having fun. I am having fun. Uh, so, I've got loads to do. Didn't you say you'll be glad when you finish painting cars and you can move on with your life? Yeah, well, that, that I am now moved on to a lot of other stuff. So at the moment, uh, while Aaron is just finishing some uh, the gantries around Watford, um, we've got a I've got the destination boards to sort out. So each destination board, uh, we've got four new ones for the model railway. Each one needs an Arduino, uh, and that Arduino needs to be connected to the CAN uh, bus. And for that to happen, you need a CAN shield that fits on the Arduino, uh, and that's what I am currently doing. So the CAN shields come like this. Uh, with a set of pins that need to be soldered in. So I've got four of these to do. This is the interface from System 2 into the Arduino. That's right. That is right. And that then puts it onto, I guess, a serial port or something into the departure board. That's, yeah, it's, that's right. Yeah. I'm talking building blocks, not detail at yeah. this point. Yeah. Yeah. So it's one of the kind of necessary steps that needs to be done. And how many times do you have to do this? Uh, so I've got to solder each one of these pins. And it's one per departure board. And it's one, one, yeah, one Arduino per uh, uh, per destination board. No pressure then. Camera's rolling. So if you've just tuned in, we're watching Chris, the master craftsman, bent, melting metal. That is true. So, all of that to do. Brilliant. Are you ready? Uh, right, so there's a lot of detail uh, to do on the layout. Uh, and these are the sandboxes that I've just uh, finished doing. There's quite a few of those on the platforms nowadays. Uh, one of the other things I've done is a ticket machine. So this is a London Northwestern ticket machine. Uh, I've went to Acton Bridge Station and measured it all up, so it's very accurate uh, model. Uh, so what I think we're going to doing is we're going to print fifty of these, and if you come and say uh, hello to me or Dave, uh, we will give you a making tracks ticket machine to take away, kind of as a. A little bit of a souvenir from the world record attempt. Oh, fantastic. So we have 50 of them. So the first 50 people. Yep, to come and say hello. Do they have to say hello or do they have to say ticket machine or <laughs> is there some phrase that to show they've watched the video? <laughs> I would like a ticket machine, I think. Okay, cool. When, when you get your Arduino back. Yeah, I see the first two things in. So how long do you think you take to uh, solder one up? Well, that's, that's only taken me five minutes, really. Oh, brilliant. It's relatively quick. Uh, yeah. mo most of it is the prep work. Don't break. Um, yeah. Where's my signal? I've got some more signals in the car, but the, the actual cages, because they're 3D printed, yeah. it goes together well. De-nibbing de them. Right. Just to get them smooth. Uh, that's like most of the time. 
Oh, so you can so you can just yeah. go into the yeah. stack. Yeah. Just sanding off. They come on brass rods. Um, so Paint it up. But I'll uh, oh, yes. how long do you lay out? Show you this is just on a the twins he sent me a screenshot of it. Yes. Did you watch the measure it? Cycle sequence so, just to test yes. that the no, LEDs yes, show exactly. all the, the colours but Right. Um it's pretty good. No, that's not the answer. So, no, so we've got 200, 200 odd, five so volt ground the and then the signal yes, feed. 16 meters, that's 17, between 16 and 17 meters. So it's just it. cycling so through red, green, right. blue. Because what's his face? Just so we can test all the LEDs okay. in the circuit. Yeah. And then if you've got the okay. feather, that would feed off that as well. It'd cycle through all seven. Fantastic. That was great. Good job. I wasn't being sarcastic at all. Well, I was. If you weren't. Um, yeah. So you've sent me now the PDF of the trap plan, yes? You have a PDF. Excellent. I haven't had any phone dinging now. Let me just finish this. What's interesting now is everything's important and urgent. Yes. All at the same time. Yes. And that's obviously a joyful place for a project manager or somebody trying to organize stuff. Chris, you've just engineered uh, a measuring tool for the Guinness World Record attempt. Tell me all about it. That's right. Uh, so the whole world record attempt is quite involved. There's uh, lots that you have to prove and we have to create an evidence bundle um, which uh, comprises of uh, a methodology for measuring the track, a suitably qualified person to do the measuring, their qualifications have to be verified, it then has to be independently checked, and both those things are then presented to a world record adjudicator who then rechecks everything um, to make sure everything is in order, accurate, and at that point they will consider awarding a world record for it. So there is a lot to do, a lot of, a lot of things that come together to create an evidence bundle. And one of the things I've got to do over the next couple of days is write the uh, measuring methodology uh, with Dan, who uh, is helping do all of this. So uh, one, of the first, one of the big things we've got to do is create a tool to measure the track. Now with a railway that's 208 feet long, we can't simply get a tape measure out. Uh, for a number of reasons, it's just too long and we've got lots of catenary, so how do you get into the catenary and do all the measuring, how do you do it all accurately? So we had to come up with a different way. So um, Dan, who is an aerospace engineer, uh, uh, and I have come up with a bit of a Heath Robinson uh, tool to do the measuring and it's presently looking like this. Uh, so it's a, wagon that we fitted a clicker to 
and as the truck goes along it'll be pulled by a locomotive it clicks or ticks every tick represents about 39.9 millimeters because we've got it to the ticker attached to the axle so this is how it sounds if we push it along So the way we then convert the ticks into a measurement is we're going to have a microphone on here, uh, which is just somewhere, um, and that will record the uh, ticking. We're then going to drop that sound file into a sonic audio analy analysis software where we can set, th set some thresholds and we can see the peaks and or count the peaks, which will be the ticks. The number of ticks is then multiplied by multiplied by distance or, or yeah the the circumference of the wheel and that will give us our distance for a track clearly we need to run that through every single track that we want to uh, uh, measure and we need to do a couple of times to create some averages and that will that will create a plan or a map of the entire layout that we've measured and that's what will go into our methodology and results documentation for Guinness. So you'll be running calibration runs before and after. That's right. So yeah. we can null out and quantify any error and operating limits. Correct. And it's not 208 feet of track though, is it? It's over 2,000 feet of track. That's, that's right. So whilst the layout is 208 feet long, there are four tracks down one side, eight tracks down another, Four tracks at either end so you're kind of multiplying 208 up by quite a substantial number that's right oh brilliant Gonna try and catch my shoulder in not badly. Happy with that? Test it in a second, see if it's working. Of course it'll work. So I've had to paint inside all the LED housings because we were getting quite a lot of light bleed. What's the colour of choice? Black? Yeah. Yeah. A quick try. So just going into the Arduino five volt ground. Yeah, working. 
So we'll see it. Good. How many to go? 26. Oh, great. And these will be done for lunch, yeah? In half an hour. Uh, lunch on, uh, yeah, Thursday, probably. Right. <laughs> I'll get out your face then. Next Thursday. That uh, interior you printed looks uh, great in that one by three. Oh, good. Good. Because I've added interior lighting, so it's all... Visible. You'll have time to fit these, Chris, the stickers. <laughs> we have to make time. Sure, why not? <laughs> There's how many 26 hours in a day? Yeah. Yeah, I need a few more. And when you break it down, is it being broken down on Sunday or of, Monday? Uh, no, it can't be broken down until we're finished. No, no it's where it's where it's Oh, the only say Sunday night. Sunday night. Yeah. 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 And you've got to be out before midnight. <laughs> Well, we've got a race for me. Staff It's an absolute pointless looking exercise. Staff and board. Yeah, no idea. We'll have to work out. We can yeah, worry about that. It takes when it's out there from here. Are we going to staff here? We've got Sergeant Speed. Speed. Support you up in Z21. Yeah, we'll sort that off punch. Yeah, Don't get this, there's two or three. Why the whole I mean, you want three? Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. You've got three. You bought two extra boosters, didn't you? Yeah. Yes. That's all we were. So you've got two extra plus the one we had last time, so that's three. Three. Well, I'll make two. Yeah, three. What time can we get in? Nine o'clock. Wednesday, isn't it? What day are we travelling? Thursday morning. Yeah, we're loading Wednesday. So you 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 took out John leaving it here. Yeah. You're uh, leaving your van here, Chris. Yeah. 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 And then so we've got Thursday and Friday. Then. We've got Thursday all day, Thursday and Friday. Yeah. Right. Can we drive in here? Yes. Yes. Right. All, you all got to have IBIS. Everybody you must wear IBIS. <laughs> so make oh, sure if you haven't got one, tell us now and we'll find you one. There's so many signals yeah, that you can't, can't You're not allowed inside the NEC without IBIS. I've told Mike we need them. Major Junction is fine to have it. No, I've got some here. I've got quite a few. Oh, how many have you got? Double red. I don't know. I'll, I'll have a look in a minute. But I do have spare IVs. Yeah, okay. It's got to be orange. The car doesn't matter, does it? The car doesn't matter, does it? Just tie this. I just read double tie this. We don't accept yellow on the road. We're not on the railway, are we? I'm just saying we don't accept yellow. No, no, you don't. Even the lorry driver has to wear that orange. That's why all lorry drivers to building sites and railway sites have two colours. And um, the cab. all extension needs to be on wound. Really? No, yeah. no, we're all going to accept yellow. And we've got no longer the four meters. It's all orange. Everything well, yellow. Orange. Yeah. On the, uh, all our meters are yellow. No, I'm saying if you're a driver and you're going onto network rail property, you're yeah, on orange. Who checks all this? Highways are now moving to orange. orange. Oh, they? Well, if it's not quite been checked. There's a reason for that. And do we know? Do we know what the reason is? Behind a four meter lead, as opposed to a five meter one. Yes, electricity. Fire. Fire. Yeah. Is it not going on a five? Reason, it does fire not travel on a four meter lead, but it does on a five. Well, now it's definitely on twenty five minutes. Right? Now it's definitely on twenty five minutes. If you would hurt on the ground, four meters. That means you're going to have at least 16, 16 leads down there. Well, no, you can't do them together. Oh. <laughs> no, because they've got them in the floor, Dave. Uh, I mean, like you pay for their plugs. <laughs> they're not the stupid. Oh, 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 oh. And the uh, other hats have all got like a green. <laughs> so like the, whole, the whole of the whole NEC is laid out for PowerPoints. Yeah. Obviously, for the amount of stands that you need, that's how mm -hmm. they work. That's how they pay. 
So you go stand there like five powerpoints. <laughs> they, they want you to pay for those powerpoints. <laughs> and it's a safe. I mean, you've seen. I mean, you've seen some of these exhibitions with the stuff laying around the floor. In fact, Stackpole Barn was quite good at that, wasn't it? That was quite tidy. Mm -hmm. Very tidy. In fact, the opposite was pretty too tidy. It's, <coughs> it's very clinical, that Stackpole Barn. Yeah, too clinical. It's all new buildings, so you've got to be... Yeah. <laughs> I found it a bit, a bit too clinical. You like a bit of wear and tear, don't you? Well, it's a brand new building, so, you know. Yeah, they're all new, though. What was there before, then? Nothing. Yeah, he's been, I opened it well before um, COVID. Cause mm. You know, when it's going in early, how do we, how we fix you getting a brew through the day? You can drink or something. That was 10 hours. There's loads of, uh, there's loads of um, coffee stalls. Loads. Is it? Yeah. About eight quid a coffee, I think. Yeah, yeah right. And Lawrence is bringing stuff with him. Take the flask. Lawrence? <laughs> From the Model Railway Club. Okay. You know Lawrence. You know oh, Lawrence, yeah. a big lad. Oh, all right, yeah. So he always got he got loads of stuff, you know, should you want to drink. Um, well, we want to drink. Not whether you need to No, I'm just saying. Hello. But uh, in the uh, hall, yeah. there, there, there are... There's room at the get shed. Brew rooms, there. you know what I mean? Sure like there must have something rooms. similar at the end. You know what I mean? Like, all that one yeah, but, you have to pay for that sort of stuff. No, you don't. Not, well, not, for, not, not for us. Hornby will have a... A head off an office, hmm. which will have an urn in it and all that, so that'll do. You won't worry about that. That yeah, was on about Andy and the, the food it gets. So they didn't have food, they just had what they brought those uh, sandwich bags out, didn't they? On the um, Saturday, but I don't think they did, don't think they did on the Thursday or Friday, they didn't. No. Good cake here, lads. Yeah. Oh, it's oh. <laughs> that old vessel <laughs> so, so someone's uh, gone to turn. Yeah, that's Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rob, did when do you think you'll tell us the arrangements for going down? It'll be this week, this, this weekend, or next week? Oh, cool. Don't know. <laughs> Hopefully this week. I've only got a measure around the end, haven't you? And everything else is having all eight books. If they're not, are they? Of course they are. Wait, measuring, sorry. The trap? No, it's yeah, all over the place. Well, so you got me. How I can have it to be? To be in one millimetre. Ah, yeah, that's the look. There's a difference between accuracy and resolution. What are you about? We've got a real high tech approach using sonic techniques. You can have an track. You can have a resolution of 10 meters and 2 millimeters, but you might be accurate by plus or minus a meter. You can, you can be fine with it, but out by a mile. Come and shut mind you. Don't let them wind you up, Dave. You're not going to wind me up. <laughs> I know what they're talking about. Hey, get around up there. 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 Get a one arm bandit. Oh, you pessimist, Kevin. <laughs> Entertainment. Not one arm yeah. bandit. Can we have a movie as well? Yeah, I've got one arm bandit, video games. No. Oh. <laughs> and they've got a. Uh, have you got a bar as well in the middle? Yeah, yeah. Ma mild and bitter. Right. <coughs> yeah, that'll be true. My lad's bringing his computer. What on the wish list? We'll be as always next year. When's that the hour? <laughs> Pete's man in the panini store. Yeah. Wouldn't that be funny? You had a beer train and it pulled up and <coughs> people could get real beer out of it. Oh. Uh, that'd be a first, that would, yeah. yeah. Trouble Trouble is, the why don't you stick the driving by the end of it? Yeah, but you can't well, get well, well, There were some people that couldn't yeah, get it much worse. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. It was first over it. Yeah. Mm. It's only time I can get away with doing it. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, boys. Soon 
haven't come near. We're nearly, <coughs> we're nearly there. The final pump's here, yeah. Yeah. What do you mean we've got another 64 foot for next year? Yeah, but <laughs> that's called, that's what it's called, the final frontier. Final yeah. being the opposite word. Well, well, not necessarily in the right <laughs> order. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like Star Wars here. Yeah. Yeah, the last episode See? might be for the so one. Yeah, I've got other jobs to do now. I've got to some garage doors, I've got to do some painting at home, I've got, so I've got all, all sorts to do. Uh, so so what Pete's saying, could be off a prequel then. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what a Steam version. Yeah, just take the wires off. Unfortunately, the boss is disconnected. The boss is out. Ah, oh, boy, it was on Dave's last video, mate. You've seen about Carlisle. Yeah. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I said that because I know we're never going to do it. It'll be alright, won't it? Tell us all to be the best. I'm going to get some Zane pipes. The thing I've learned about and this layer, this one, well, the only others has taught me. What looks like a five minute job <coughs> is the minimum of an hour and a half. I can now look at no, a job and go, it's it's four years to I know, I know. <laughs> Dave, I agree. How long, Dave. How long have we been telling you Dave, all these, I agree. Minute, all these yeah. 10 minute jobs are yours? Oh, Th That's the point I'm making. I've <laughs> certainly finally come seen to the light. The, <laughs> yeah. 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 I've certainly come to the conclusion of uh, <laughs> a five minute job now is an hour and a half. If it's a, a couple of hours, you can get it three days. days. <laughs> So the next layout's going to take us about six months to do it. <laughs> well, you know, you know, the thing is, when you look at a little job like today, like making patios, mm -hmm. okay? Phil's had to cut them. John and I cut them up into the patios. And then they need spraying. Then you've got to fix them. Then you've got to fix the houses. Now, we started that job at quarter, quarter to ten. Yeah, and, and all we're doing is cutting a piece of wood. Cutting, cutting I mean, there's nothing to do, we're getting trains from it. <laughs> no, no, I mean, <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, I've not seen the train room yet. It's only a change. <laughs> what I'm saying, that job was only cutting wood and painting it. Now you know how much work I've done. Okay, Richard. Hello. Hi, Richard. <coughs> Ricky Hi, Richard. Oh, right, so, yeah. I got here just in town, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> how are you, Rich? It's all right. Yeah, yeah. mate. Come on, you get a drink. I've got a few rank of um, other coast pages. Come on, I've only got one so far. Come on, here. That's the wrong way. One coach. Right. <coughs> we are saying about the future of the layout, oh, what we're going to do with it, and is this the only time it's going to no, be No, this is not the only time it's going to go out. That would have been... That would have been silly. That would, that would have been wrong. We're going to make it so that in the future, should, should we want to go out with it, and we get invited to <coughs> we can take the 208 feet. We'll never build, we don't, we're not planning to build more than 208 feet. And, and I don't think there's any point to be, in, on, in all honesty, going further than 208 feet. Because we haven't seen 208 feet in a straight line yet, <laughs> which is what we're about to see at the NEC. So I think that if you want to go more than 208 feet, then, then then that's somebody else's baby. But our thing is to look at this now and say, right, we've achieved that. What more, because this is a multi-scale exhibition and a multi-format, you know, format, what, what can we learn from other people? What are they doing in other modelling skills that we perhaps aren't doing yet in model railways? That would enhance the modeler and I the one thing I've seen for ages we have toyed with and, and, and toy is the word is of course moving vehicles oh, yes. but I just saw the Monaco Grand Prix and it's like breathtaking I mean breathtaking what the Hamburg it's yeah like outstanding that oh way. it's breathtaking so you just go whoa wait a minute here you know, if I look at, you know, making tracks, that's breathtaking. You see the enormity of it, the reality of it, the way it works. It's like you go, that's what we achieved. We wanted to build the West Coast Main Line and capture that yeah, essence of the railway. Used. That's what we've done. You look at these guys, want to, they just want a piece of the Monaco Grand Prix. <sighs> hey, they've done it exactly the same. The cars race, 
and you go, they've done, they've done what we do, but they've done it in with cars, with racing cars. And you have to take your hat off and think, that's amazing. You know, that's 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 another. But it's no different to what we've already done. It's just using cars instead of model railway engines, because at the end of the day, we know that those cars are on tracks. No, where are you going with this? Hey? Where are you going with this? Well, I don't we're know. Just, we're just no, why, why are you going on to cars now? Because well, I'm saying that's, we've got to. Why? If you're gonna, because you have no choice. Of course we have. No, what's your choice? Don't do it. No, you can't not do anything, Dave. You're a choice. I don't want to die yet. <laughs> well, you don't have to. No, well, I want to keep well, busy. You've got to keep, relate, you've got to realise what you can actually physically put up in a day or two days. No, 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 Dave. You can't keep not... getting bigger and bigger, Dave, Dave. no, we just said you can't go bigger than 200. Well, the whole point. Well, well, we're going to put the cars. Well, that's the point. You've got to work out what you do round your railway. Oh. So where could we run the cars? Mm -hmm. then? No, no. Have have separate... Separate... No, what I'm saying oh, is... I'm not interested in that. We'd, we'd need separate boards, wouldn't we, to, to run them on? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, Don't get carried now. away with this. It's a conversation. Oh. Not for now. This is a video conversation, I'm saying. <coughs> Go on. No, what I'm saying, at the moment, we haven't got any roadways to run cars on, have we? That's not what I'm saying, Kevin. I'm just saying... We need to build the whole purpose of this show is to show other people's skills and what they do that we don't do. It doesn't mean yeah. to say that we're suddenly going to build Monaco. That's not what I'm saying. Anywhere, no. I'm saying. Old, no, but I'm just saying we have, we, we haven't done that. In the future, <laughs> in the future, model guys that are following us, not us because we're too old. The younger guys will want to put road scenes in. Seems logical to me. You know what I mean? They will. It will be natural for them to have like Bob Jones has up in his. Um, he then an gates layout. You've got an hour layout in the club. Yeah. Cars move, wagons, buses, wagons. Yeah. Put them in four hill. Put them up the hill, don't they? Put them in yeah. four, yeah. But they, they don't look great. That's the problem at the minute. They don't look great. Where? In what way? They judder. Yeah, well, you just be too fast when you start them off because you're, you're limited by what the battery's charged up. So if it's a full battery, you go like the clappers, and when it starts running out, it slow down. You, there's no control over them. Exactly, so that's what I'm saying. These guys have somehow worked that out on Monaco because they don't do that. They don't follow wires, it's like that's what I'm saying. Got it's proper, unique, it's, it's got proper it's got yeah. steering. So it's like uh, the old track, track control is T TCR. From well, you can't TV. tell, you can't tell, Kevin. Yeah, that's what I'm slot. saying. There's no slot, you could swap them. There is no slot. But, but TCR racing, yeah, no total control yeah. racing. But you're not there, but I am. Because I want yeah, younger track. people to realise like a, that we've taken track. model railways as far as you can take yes, them. Yeah, and, and control them. Yeah. But what is it to do else? To drive them as it is to speed them. <coughs> yeah, so we're like, a bit of complicated but, uh, point with it. Why? No we've just got four round, round tracks at the minute. On your basically. Basically. No, you haven't. Yeah, we are. What about your fiddle like like uh, uh, We don't fiddle now, do we? Of course you do. You put them in where you want them. What about your bi-directional car platforms? That's only one track, isn't it? No, it's all of them. We don't run both ways on all the tracks. You can do. You can do if you want to. I know what we can do, but we don't do. All the tracks have walls on. If you had more points, I would change it. You took more points out last time. I wouldn't change anything. Because you're limited by your volunteers. Correct. You're limited by people that can operate yeah. it. So having, having, they're any good enough. having more point work wouldn't solve that problem. Anyway, whatever. If you had, you could not have what? Carlisle in 208 foot so with all those points, you could never work it. I mean, look how many operators we need for this weekend. Is it 24? Well, that's because it's 208 foot long, isn't it? Like you said, well, how, how big would you, if you're operating. building Carlisle, which is... No, 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 I'm just saying, there's spots. your points. Right, okay, yeah. Right, you'll build Carlisle, like what well, David Carlisle Jones has done. Carlisle station can't be much bigger in length than Milton Keynes. Oh, it is. Well, I don't know, you don't really get... I'll bet you... David, well, David Jones's layout, yeah. right, is 75 feet. Is it? Yeah. Well, Double O. Yeah. yeah, but it's still, still Dave, 75, 75 feet with all those points. How many operators? 
depends what you want to include in well, your car, doesn't it? You you know, you've got the engine shed at either end, or the part of the good shed. But just points in the station case, it's got to be six As long as you've got a read back, you've got to be Again, there's all these platforms and loops, haven't we? Which is what we've got at Milton Keynes. Yes, but what I'm saying is, if you want to do what Dave is saying, run it as a proper layout and have points working. And I don't disagree, works, but I the point is, at that it's point, it's a different, works. completely yes. different yeah. kettle of fish because you so need real good operators. Right. Okay. Like this layout here, we, we have never really operated it, have we? That's what it is. Never got enough people to say. That comes on a day, and we run it, but then you're having to separate the engine. Yeah, but it's not separate. 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 And that's a shame. All the work we've put in. We don't work out behind it. We don't work out behind it. Dave, because people won't turn up regularly enough. The roof stays in. That's your problem. Dave, you know the problem with volunteers. Set the next one. I know the problem with volunteers. They come as long as it suits them and then they ditch you. There you go. But that's the point. I mean, we've got 270 points on it. How many more points do you want? But how many times do they get changed? We might have, but we don't use them. Well, I use them when I'm playing with it. But it's easy just to send it, like you said, send it a load well, around the circle. Put it in an engine, you put it on and they run it round. That's all they do. And it's the same at our club, they just run trains round and round and round. So therefore, we've got it right. We got have no got it points. Right, but it well, there you go. But it's not, it's not as interesting as it could be, is it? Well, it is. But there's a lot of layouts where people go and they, have, and they have an operating session at night and they run, you know, they run to whatever time they And it's, it's, it's probably interesting. I mean... Just to put a chain on and run it round. Well, it's been round six times. You put another engine yeah, on. Put another on then. Yeah. So it's you not know. Uh, I'm saying it's not. It's not. It's not right. It's for everybody. But you know, it's what you want out, out of the layout, isn't it? But we've done got all this trouble, and we we've never really it's had a proper what I call really. a proper operating system. That's a fucking fine move. Well. In 20, 22 <laughs> years. <laughs> no, because nobody wants to do it. Well, <laughs> you're only as good as your operators. At the end of the day, it can build a spaghetti like junction. Layout, if nobody wants to drive for all the, 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 the layouts that's underneath here. Yeah. You know, I know. Oh, yeah. Very rare to see a train. It's a way that we could, we could adjust yeah. it to yeah, fit. Yeah, like we talked about the other day, something like the container yard. Someone could work the container yard and build the crane. And you could operate that. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. That's not what we built this layout for. This layout is built for exactly what Dave doesn't like. Continuous running fast trains. To get kids involved right, and uh, interested back oh, in hey, trains. No, 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 not to show we're clever. We've been successful. No, exactly. It's made the spread. That's what, but that's what we, our aim was. Mm. Mm. It was deliberately not to have a plank on the. The first layer, the first way you can chuck one way, it was to confirm what the cathedral one Yeah. Yeah. But you know what I mean? It was after that, which is the same as the vision, so that's what I could do. Yeah. But we also, room. even on making such yeah. one, it was about entertainment, well, about moving trains. Well, I must say, we realised the two separate layouts wouldn't entertain anybody. I spoke anybody. to you when I spoke to Dave, yeah. and that, 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 put, that put me off for life. <laughs> How's Richard? Very well, Tom. Plodding on. Good. Right, so you're okay there, Richard? Yeah, yeah wonderful, Chris. Which is what I end up with. I just want to know what Lent's going to be, you see. Yeah, well, that number of tricks we'll just calculate yeah so, so, gonna be, so we're going to record it so i have an audio file and we stick yeah. the audio file into some sonic analysis software set some thresholds and we'll isolate the, the ticks we'll get yes. distance from that it's a lot easier than going to that one <laughs> that well that's the problem it. that's the problem yeah because the outside one was, will always be longer yeah, than the inside yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah yeah so unless you want to calculate the radii difference yeah. between all the vehicles which is you'd be there all day yeah <laughs> it's doable but yeah it's the time to do it 